Yeah, uh, I think we would have covered quite a few bases. Um, you know, uh, the weather has not always been kind to us, but again, uh, we're thankful. We have life. Um, I think many of the players we try to work on skill assessment, not only skill assessment, but skill improvement. I think we continue to want to improve the player's skill. We feel if we have a more competent player, we have a more confident player at the end of the day, and that confidence itself translates on the field of play, I think within the group itself. So we have also have some experienced players in the setup, and what we are asking for is players to really and truly take the responsibility on their shoulders as we embark on another World Cup campaign. Uh, the last one we had in the Caribbean, we reached the semi-final stage and we hope we can go even one better and reach the finals and also win the championship. So the goals that we set for ourselves in this camp is all in keeping, um, in achieving you know, the outcome at the end of uh, March. And so the preparation itself took into consideration all those aspects. Great. It's great, from a, even from a confidence point of view for all the other players. I think we know what she brings to the table, the passion, the skill she brings, um, the confidence she also brings, that's very important. And uh, even though we know she's coming back from a very serious injury, and at times we do have to really and truly wrap her in some cotton wool, you know, <laughs> during some of our sessions, but I think such is the nature of Deandra's character, that um, she was always involved. And I think just seeing the way she went about her work, you know, I think that many of the players, we asked them to look at that, look at the passion and see if we could take something from that and bring to the table. I think at the end of the day, it, it boils down to what each individual wants as well. I think the main goal, as we say, it's a World Cup, it makes it so much easier. So basically that's the main goal. And it's all about driving towards that, making sure Every player is at their maximum in terms of what they expect from the camp and what they expect from the tournament. But also in that the camaraderie, which is very important. The gelling of the young ones with the older players, the experienced players, if you want to call it that, that is also very important. And what we have seen in this camp is nothing short of that. Yes, there are disappointments because when you select a squad out of a camp like this, you know, there will be disappointment. There will be people who may feel they should have been in and then they're out. And, this is natural. I don't think selection is an exact science, but what we have said to the players is that you know those that are selected, they've given the confidence they've shown in them by the selectors, they have to go out there and really and truly make it work for us. Unfortunately, those that have left behind, we continue to ask them to keep working, to keep supporting and to keep improving their skills. So we hope that at the end of the day, those players selected will do us proud. Well, I think the first of all, we know that the pitches in Australia will be di different type of pitches than we have here. They will be a, possibly a little bit more bouncy, they may not turn as much. Um, they will assist possibly the batters who possibly play square of the wicket as best as possible. So again, the work that we put in is all geared to preparing ourselves for those type of pitches. But more importantly is they have to continue when they get there is to, is to make assessments. They have to play what you see when you get there. I think over the years we've known the Australian conditions to be a little bit difficult, a little bit harsh. At this point in time we know there are some bushfires around and therefore maybe visibility may not be always the same as well as it used to be. Uh, maybe the air quality is something we have to also look at. But I'm certain ICC will be putting some protocols in place so that players will understand what they can and cannot do. But generally we know it's a place you can really enjoy and it's about, you know, really conditioning your mind, conditioning your whole thought processes at the end of the day and also disciplining yourself to know that what you're there for because there could be a lot of distractions um, but I'm confident that as I said before the experience that we have in the setup and everybody knowing exactly why we're there what we're there for I'm trusting that um, you know at the end of the day the discipline side of it comes to the party. Yeah.